what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we are looking at this one we got why you should move to australia in 2023 okay now we've got 2024 but let's see what what they have to offer for us in this video this channel actually does have amazing australian vi videos the bam family lab great channel great videos about australia so link to that in the description below but let's see what we got i i don't know if you can notice but my face is burnt i went fishing and bruh i got destroyed the sun totally destroyed me if you're thinking anyway, about moving see. to australia we're going to tell you why 2023 is certainly the year for it a lot of bad things happened in 2022 obviously the two years before that were pretty shoddy but 2022 seemed to be an an awful year for a lot of people i i think 2023 okay. it's going to be a good year isn't it it is definitely it's all about 2023 isn't it it is not about 2022 anymore so last year so last year that's all about 2024 so what else do you think is going to make 2023 the year that people should move to australia i just feel with all the grants you've got a very good chance of making it this year why put off what you can do today and put it hang on what's the same <laughs> not that no uh, not that one why put off what you can do today until tomorrow yes so <laughs> don't be one of them people that turn around and say oh i wished i did that put your stuff in as soon as possible and hopefully you'll be in by that big promise of we'll be in by christmas that's a big promise it's a big promise it's not our promise to make but <laughs> Ben just made it. Hopefully, that'll be the way a lot goes this year. Because if we're seeing all yep. these visa grants, then some some real big action is. Wow, happening. look at that beautiful view, though, while driving. Oh, wow. nice Maybe beautiful. they're just really quick on that stamp now. Yeah. And we've been speaking to people for the last two years since we've had our channel, because people chat to us a lot, <laughs> a lot. And at the moment, the Department of Immigration they're smashing it out. So there's a lot of grants and also now that flights are back in full swing, it's not hard to get here. If you're eligible for a visa, now is also the time to go for it because the department, they take things off the list at the drop of a hat. If you're on the skilled occupation list, then... I just want to visit Australia. I don't want to go live there, but bro, Australia is one of the places I want to travel we will do it one day guys one day we will travel do it now so that you don't end up falling off of it or waiting until you're older and you need more points because you you know your points because of your age drop as my nana would say just get on with it just get on with it okay Please. okay and no she didn't say that oh, she just said just get, get on, on with it, it. right okay. my nana was a bit of a firm character <laughs> and australia has such a great can do she'd be right attitude no worries mate as well yeah. because quite frankly none of us need stresses do we this is the best place to sort of just kick your shoes off walk around barefoot as i am now wow um, are you oh yes you are <laughs> i just think that living a life without stress i mean don't get me wrong moving to australia has its stresses it has its blooming stresses but generally life here is quite cash and a lot more kind of i don't know there are a lot less stresses living here might be very stressful getting here but that no well i think that's just in general like if you're planning to move to a different country for sure you're gonna have a lot of stress things on your mind like is this gonna work uh, like is everything gonna be okay you have a lot of things to worry about no worries mate and friendly attitude I think that's a jolly good reason to move. So we've tried to avoid talking about the pandemic too much because quite frankly, who wanted to hear about it? We heard enough about it from everywhere else. You definitely didn't need that shizzle on the Bam Fam Lab channel. Anywho, we're going to talk about it briefly just because I think that the pandemic gave everybody this massive opportunity to reevaluate their lives. That is true. And I think the pandemic in general did a lot of positive like stuff as well in the it world. It left a lot of us thinking, why am I like why am I doing everything I'm doing? I, I should be living the life of Riley. Is the life of Riley really is yeah. everybody gonna get that I think so. Yeah. Everybody's gonna get that reference. Okay. Everyone's gonna have a great life. Basically, 
re-evaluating your life during the pandemic, it was such a rubbish time for so many people, there was a great excuse to go, hang on, stop a sec, what the frick am I doing with my life? If you're living in a cold country exactly. as well, and you've just been through a rough winter, I think now's a really good time to think, do I really want to go through a cold winter again? You'll never get a real cold winter around this way. No, you might get it in some um, some areas wow, of Australia, Australia, but certainly not where we live. We don't get it really cold. I think that's another good reason okay, to give okay. you a bit of a kick up the bum and go, 2023 is my year. Don't procrastinate. Emigrate. That's the um, thingy so Collaborate. Oh, Emigrate. stop. Calibrate. Calibrate. Emigration is here <laughs> if you listen. I was going to go <laughs> along the lines of stop. Emigrate and listen. <laughs> the BAMs are here for you to listen. Oh my gosh, our children are going to die if they watch this. They know I'm a lyricist. <laughs> a lyric master. Yeah, as I put my licks down. I beg your pardon? The licks down. I don't know what that means. What is the licks? That. The oh, lick. you put your licks down. Yeah. No, hang on. Like legs? Stop. Maybe? I don't Emigrate know. Emigrate and listen. The BAMs are here to give you vision. <laughs> Kind of sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. The bams are here to give you the vision. So listen. Chop so listen. So we move it to the pet. Oh, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Anyway, if the last few years hasn't given you a good enough reason to emigrate to Australia, then you're probably never going to do it. In all fairness. But Fair we enough. Think you should use Straight that to the as point. Your... Kickstart. Yeah. As you'll kick up the bottom to go, was I living a fulfilled life? Was I really happy? Was everything what I dreamed of it being? And if not, then get your tush to Australia. One awesome mm. thing at, um, throughout Australia actually at the moment is that Australia are crying out for workers. Really? Employees are needed workers at the most. I've heard actually like Australia is a good place to go start work. Like if you're single and like haven't, like nowhere to be like you can get really good jobs and this hasn't always been the case especially I've heard that. where we live in queensland it's not always been so easy to get a job applicants seem to be taking their pick of offers don't they okay. it seems that if you apply for jobs you might get several offers and you're then getting to pick okay. if you're moving in 2023 or even thinking about it drop us a comment we'd love to hear from you especially me <laughs> especially see me. you <laughs> and if you see me in the street just come up and have a chat I hope that happens. I mean, when I do visit, he just—he just got someone recognised him in a shop. <laughs> the funny thing is, they walked straight past wow. me. <laughs> wow. I did have my back to the door. So oh, here we go. Been why. Yeah. yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please. Anyway, that was that video. So those were the reasons why you should move to Australia. Some in interesting points there. Really enjoyed the the story in general. Let me know what you actually thought about it as well in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, guys, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.